state and the city, many of us in our own lives have been very affected by the recession that's national and international. In January of 2011, we're going to have a new governor in Harrisburg. What actions or legislation do you recommend that the next governor put in place in order to help create jobs and help get us out of the recession? Greg, I think you get this one first. Thank you. Uh, one of the things I talk about all the time, actually, is the need for, is, is Philadelphia's role and Pennsylvania's role when we hear about President Obama talking about building a brand new green economy. And I think the role for us to play right here in Pennsylvania is in, in the area of green jobs. In my first term, I will introduce legislation that mandates all new construction or significant renovation of state-owned property, so this is public schools and universities as well, to meet green building standards. In addition to that, uh, I have a plan to significantly reform the Keystone Opportunity Zone project uh, program because as it currently is situated, we are actually driving up the vacancy rates here in our city, and this is something that my opponent actually uh, voted to increase, and it's a clear example of a policy that actually is not very good for our district because the law firm Deckert, which was over a thousand jobs here in, here in Philadelphia, because of this program was enticed to actually leave the district and we've now lost out on that tax revenue and all the small businesses that depended on the Deckert employees to shop there are no longer receiving that revenue as well. Thank you. Um, my opponent says we should all have green state buildings, we should have a directive. Um, we do do that. We do do that. And we've also looked at the fleet. Within my committee, we um, oversee the Department of General Services. The Department of General Services does an enormous amount of contracting with outside businesses. What I have dedicated myself to doing and have been very successful working with the Secretary of the Department of General Services is to make sure that small and medium businesses, which are the, the engine that runs this district and this city and this Delaware Valley area, have an opportunity to contract with state government and that in proportion to their, their uh, population percentage that minority-owned and women-owned businesses have that same opportunity to contract with state government and to not only be contractors for small, little projects, but to be prime contractors on very big co projects. If we do that, we begin to get people from Philadelphia in great numbers who can bring state money into the city.